All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And I just wanted to do a little response to a comment I, I got from the comment section from this, this guy named, uh, uh, I'm just going to call him Chad Anderson because uh, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. So we'll just call the brother Chad Anderson is what we'll call him. Um, and he asked a good question, right? He actually asked a good question that, um, you know, for someone hearing what we're telling people about how, you know, God doesn't love everybody, you know, and Christ only came to bring salvation to the children of Israel. You know, a reasonable question that one might ask is, well, how do you deal with how Christ said that you're supposed to love your enemies? Because if you guys are saying that we're supposed to hate our enemies, but Christ said to love your enemies, so off face value, that would seem like a contradiction. And I'll give him credit on that because without, you know, looking deeper into the scriptures, that would look like a stumbling block right there for somebody who is new to this thing of ours, right? New to this faith. They might hear that and say, oh, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense what the Hebrew Israelites are saying because Christ said to love your enemies, but they're saying they hate their enemies. But off a further examination of the, script, the text, or the scriptures, whatever word you want to use, we come to understand what Christ meant. And I'm going to get the scripture uh, that he's quoting, because I know exactly what he's talking about, but we'll just read his comment first. So Chad Anderson said, How would you, or do you, reconcile New Testament uh, direction to love and pray for your enemies, to bless and not curse your persecutors, with other scriptures throughout the entire Bible that seem to lead in a direction contrary. And um, we'll answer that. We'll go here. Uh, Matthew 5, 43. Uh, ye have, and this is Christ speaking, says, Ye have heard that it have been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Now, I agree with the text, but here's the, um, I'm going to show you some. Bear with me a second. I'm going to show you what this is talking about. Because remember, Christ was quoting the Old Testament, right? When he teaches um, the Bible, he's reading out of the Old Testament, right? The writings that we call the Old Testament is what he was teaching people from, right? He was teaching the laws and the statues that we read about in the Old Testament. Uh, this is Leviticus 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Right, so by going precept upon precept, we understand now what Christ was speaking about here in uh, Matthew uh, 5, 43. We now understand that he's talking about our enemies that are among our own people. Okay? So he's not talking about, you know, the other nations here. And I got a question for you, Chad Anderson. Right? I, I want to... Uh, do a retaliatory strike against what you're saying. Um, and that would be this, uh, Luke 19 and verse 27. It says, and this is Christ speaking, But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. Wait a second. Well, whatever happened to, to that whole love that Christ was saying? Didn't Christ say to love your enemies, as you were just saying here? But now, he said, bring my enemies before me and slay them before me. So, <laughs> how do we get around this? Is, is this a, contradictor, a contradiction with what Christ is saying? Or are we simply misunderstanding what he said? I'd say in your case, it's just a misunderstanding. When he says enemies, as I showed you in uh, Leviticus 19.17, that... It's talking about among the Israelites is who the enemies are referring to. So Christ is saying that we should love, you know, our, our enemies 
among our own people. He is not talking about the other nations like the Edomites. The Most High said it, that he hates Edom and is going to destroy all the, the, the Edomites according to the book of Obadiah. So no Edomites can ever receive salvation. I got another one for you. Bear with me for a second. Okay. Um, this is Psalms chapter 139 verse 21. It says, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred, and I count my, them my enemies. So, was King David going off here when he said that he hates his enemies? So, I mean, <laughs> unless you're one of those guys, which I'm not putting it on you, but unless you're one of those guys saying that the New Testament is fake or something like that, that only the New Testament is true and reliable, no, I, I don't know how we could get around this. How, how do you answer that? Because from your understanding, it wouldn't make sense because you're start trying to use the scripture where Christ said to love your enemies, so that means we've got to love everybody and not hate anybody. Well, what about um, here? Well, King David said he hates his enemies. Is that a contradiction? Then? Or what about where Christ said that he's going to put his enemies to death then? How the hell do you get around that one, man? And that's a retaliatory strike against your question, man. Right? I answered your question from my understanding, but now I have to fire back at you. Um, and you'd have to now answer those questions for me. Right? Is how, how do we get around that? So either our understanding is correct, or your understanding is um clearly just a misunderstanding of the scripture because i mean how how do you get around that they just said that they hate their enemies like say for an example king david hates his enemies but you're bringing up where christ said to love your enemies but then i also showed you where christ said he, he's going to have his enemies killed so uh i think you're clearly misunderstood with your understanding of the scriptures uh my brother but um but I just wanted to do a little response to that real quick because I saw that, that comment in the comment board. Um, so I hope that was edifying and uh, I'm just going to say shalom.